And Christine, this investigation specifically deals with the price of baby formula. The senators allege that there is a, a major retailer that has increased a specialized type of formula 33% in less than two years. Now, I spoke with an expert who doesn't deny price gouging is likely happening, but he says it could be difficult to prove. And so when you are looking at the market right now, what is going through your head? Well, it's a confusing time, I think, for consumers, right? Confusion, uncertainty, and anxiety. Those are words Professor Matthew Isaacs used to describe feelings surrounding today's consumer. Isaacs is a market professor at Seattle University. He studies consumer judgment and decision making. It's definitely a confusing time for consumers as they're seeing prices at levels uh, that they've never seen or they're seeing some products just not on shelves that they've been used to finding there. Over the last three years, consumers have seen everything from panic buying to problems with supply chains to this new chapter, high prices. Politicians are now questioning if we're seeing price gouging, sellers raising prices beyond what's reasonable or fair. Does it look like we're seeing some price gouging? Yes, um, I think for sure. I think that the the difficulty is it's sometimes um, hard to know what the underlying cause. When you start to see things like uh, baby formula being sold uh, by retailers or even by individuals for 10x uh, the, the price that they were a few months ago, that certainly seems uh, like price gouging. The question is, is a seller trying to take advantage of the situation, such as a formula shortage? That's what Washington Senators Maria Cantwell and Patty Murray hope to answer. They've called on the Federal Trade Commission to investigate price gouging of infant formula, calling it unconscionable to extort scared parents. And I can see why, in, especially for these kinds of products, it's, it's leading uh, people to, to uh, demand action uh, immediately from the government uh, and, uh, and from businesses. So Isaac pointed out at the federal level, there really aren't any price gouging uh, protections. Washington state also doesn't have a price gouging law. However, the attorney general tried to pass one last year. That bill failed in the legislature after opposition from business groups. Live in Seattle tonight, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.